G'day trendsetters, today I'm coming to you with my review of one of Industry 9's many models in their all new Solix lineup of wheels. Long story short, the Solix line of wheels is designed as the top tier, the pinnacle of performance, whether your chosen genre be pavement going, road, gravel or cyclocross. Industry 9 has looked at all aspects of the wheel set from aerodynamics to mechanical features such as pull engagement, drive mechanisms and more and optimized a whole lot across the board. I showed this wheel set off in an earlier video, so now it's time for the full blown review. Let's get cracking. Industry 9 has a full array of rim profiles in their Solex lineup, ranging from carbon and aluminium, and different rim profiles to match your chosen discipline of cycling. I mentioned those earlier, road, gravel, or cyclocross. Okay, enough banging on, let's get these wheels out of the box and see how they look. The front Industry 9 Solix SL45 front wheel features 24 straight pull spokes. On the non-disc side, we've got a one cross pattern and the axle is a 12 by 100 millimeter through axle. Flipping it over, you have support for the center lock disc brake standard, which I absolutely love. And the spoke pattern, it's a bit beefier for the disc side. It's three cross and this rim whilst it is more pavement going centric it is a hooked rim design you have to love that the rear wheel and it features once again 24 straight pull sapim cx ray spokes on the disc side here we've got a one cross pattern and flipping it over we get a three cross pattern for the drive side. The axle type is 142 by 12 millimeters. Oops, and I forgot to mention, of course, you have center lock for the disc brake rotor standard. Regarding the cassette body, well, pretty much every standard is covered from Shimano HG to Shimano's Micro Spline to SRAM XDR, which I have inside this box. Many thanks to i9 for including an extra cassette body because I will be throwing this wheel set onto likely multiple bikes, and not forgetting, Campanolo is available for this wheel set. Now, i9 is known for their hubs, meaning plenty of engagement points. In fact, this hub has, this is crazy, 605 points of engagement, or 0.59 degrees. All right, so that now leads me to do the hub sounding free will test which a lot of you just absolutely love let's get her up to speed here it's not an angry sound of bees it's an oing oing free hub now it's time to measure some rims outside rim measurement 27.7, inside rim measurement, 21.2. Finally, rim depth, 45.2, that's close enough. Now it's time to throw the wheels behind me onto the grand scale. Front wheel onto the scale. 671 grams rear wheel onto the scale and these weights also include the valves the valve cap the rim tape and in the case of the rear wheel we've also got a metal spacer on the cassette body and that rubber o-ring weight on the rear wheel is 793 grams this is my favorite part throwing another wheel on top hoping the whole lot balances preferably better than a house of cards. 1,465 grams, which I feel is bang on spec. Advertised spec is 1,450 grams. I mentioned there's a few extra grams due to the valves, rim tape, et cetera. Now it's time to inflate some tubeless tires. We have the Penaresa Gravel King X1 
Zero Hunter CY40 mounted up. I have my trusty Bontrager TLR flash charger pump here, and I have a secondary air cylinder loaded up to about 122 psi. I have taken the valve core out. I want that big shot of air to ideally pop this tire onto the rim. And this is a dry mount, no sealant, but my sealant of choice, the best going, Orange Seal Endurance Formula. G'day, John, mate, if you're watching. It's enough psycho babble. Let's release the air pressure. Hope this bloody inflates. You hear that? The popping sound. That is the sound of success, my friends. Giddy up. Trendsetters, that's the tech specs, the rim measuring, the tire mounting, the weighing covered. Now it's time to find out how the Industry 9 Solex SL45 wheel set right and I'm shooting this video portion at 10 o'clock at night with sunglasses weighing around 1450 grams with rim tape and valves and priced at US $2,325 with a limited lifetime warranty for the original owner. The built in Asheville, North Carolina Solex SL45 wheel set is a spanking good pair of carbon wheels, provided that price tag falls within your budget. It's certainly beyond the budget of many riders. Of interest, Industry 9 sells the Solex SL AR40C. AR meaning all road, which is the wheel set I thought I'd receive for review. Yet here we are with a road all round wheel set as Industry 9 calls it. And do you reckon that stopped me from riding this wheel set on all manner of road surfaces? Not bloody likely. It's undeniable the quality of building this wheel set. I9's hubs have a reputation for longevity and reliability, and in the case of the Solex hub set, an insane 605 points of engagement. Is that overkill for pavement or gravel? Probably, and I have to wonder if those points of engagement are a negative, save for those moments when you're freewheeling down your local mountain pass. Placebo-wise, I couldn't feel a reduction in freewheeling speed, but something to think about. With hooked rims measuring 21 millimeters internal and 45 millimeters deep, these rims aren't winning contests for the widest rim category, but interestingly enough, that narrower inner rim profile didn't negatively affect wider gravel tires. Industry 9 touts these rims as CFD born and wind tunnel tested. I'm thinking that statement is likely true with roadie width tires, but not so much for the tires I used for much of this review. That point aside, these wheels are easy to get up the speed quickly and easy to keep that speed maintained, even with larger gravel tires mounted. Negatives of these rims, well, side winds with those larger tire casings I've been talking about. However, in most riding conditions, these carbon rims will treat you pretty well. I also mounted up some Goodyear Eagle F1 roadie tubeless tires measuring 32 millimeters in width. We've got a Goodyear Eagle F1 700C by 32 millimeter tire, Bontrager TLR flash charger pump, secondary cylinder, 100 psi, no sealant, no valve core, dry mount for now. Too bloody easy. In the bead, no wakan furries. Bob's your uncle. It was pretty apparent this was the type of tire this wheel set was intended for. I just love that hum noise from the deeper carbon rims and tubeless road tires. This is a very fast pavement going pair of wheels. With that said, the Solex SL45's inherent flexibility and low weight considering the rim depth really do make this a very good all rounder type of wheel set. Back to gravelly tires, inflated to appropriate pressure the narrow inner rim profile did not impact ride quality or feel. I rode many miles with this configuration, including a 130-ish mile mixed surface event known as Strata Bellamy, part of the North Florida Freeride Gravel Series. 
My biggest concern that day was doing my best to stick with the front group. A few times managed until about 20-ish miles to ride. The Solex SL45s felt right at home on the Time 88 x 45 review bike. You can check that bike review linked below. Certainly these are deeper rims, but I suffered no discomfort from a stingingly harsh ride, which was a nice surprise. I'm not a powerhouse rider and I noticed no untowards lateral flexing, rubbing of tyres on the inside of the chainstay and so on. They're strong wheels but not the type that will beat you to death. The hubs sound amazing if you like the Industry 9 free wheel sound and an insane 605 points of engagement. I'd be perfectly fine with 36 points of engagement but the hubs perform flawlessly. It also helps the rear hub is very light at 221 grams with no sacrifices in bearings in this design. A really nice improvement over the Industry 9 torch hubs that I already thought highly of. There's plenty of flexibility with the configuration of these hubs, end caps to support the older 9mm quick release standard or modern through axle designs. Ceramic bearings are available as a very pricey upgrade, but I feel the standard steel offerings are quite fine. This set is still smooth as butter from the first time I unboxed the wheels. There is a lot to like about the Industry 9 Solex SL45 wheel set with its 21mm internal rim channel, which really isn't a wheel set designed for the sort of riding I subjected it to. But these model names and such are often guidelines. You can ride any wheel set really on gravel roads and not suffer. Undoubtedly, the Solex SL45s are fantastic performing wheels on all road surfaces, and yes, certainly a wheel set I would recommend for purchase if you can get past the steep asking price but they are fully customizable you can specify hub colors nipple colors all sorts of crazy stuff and they are lovingly hand built with care in Asheville North Carolina all of this leads me to another question I'd love to know how the Solix SLAR 40 variants ride with their 25 millimeter internal rim channel hmm in the meantime, head on over to industry9.com to learn more about Industry 9's entire wheel lineup. So there you have it, Transsetters, and Tuesday. My review of the Industry 9 Solex SL45 wheel set, designed for roads, although it works quite nicely on any road, really. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for no bullshit product reviews such as this one. No bullshit gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and of course, general madness often involving this dog. Tuesday, dinner time is not yet. Shortly. We have reached DevCon 5. As all of it is released to the channel, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next video, won't I? In the next video.